Hey guys, do you want some tips on creating a course that empowers and inspires your students to take action? Perfect. Then I'm going to give you some of those best tips that I know of that can help you succeed and successfully inspire others to hopefully buy your course. <laughs> inspire others to purchase your course. All right. My name is Rachel with Inspire Purpose. If you don't know who I am, happy to meet you. If you do, welcome back. I am a course creator, I am a web designer, and I just share tips on course creation and web design. So if you like it, hit the like button and let's get started. Okay, so the first one is something that I talk about, especially in both my startup kit and my passion uh, profit program, but it's about making your learning objectives. It's so important. It not only does it help you, it helps, helps a student. So when you create learning objectives, you are creating a uh, plan. You're letting the student or the audience know this is what you're going to learn at the end of this course, at the end of this workshop, at the end of this challenge, whatever you're creating, you have to have learning objectives. So when you're getting ready and you're putting your thing together and you're, you know, you've got a topic, make sure that you research what your target audience is needing. What are their pain points? What are their struggles? What are they interested? you know, interested in what is um, going on with their life, where are they hanging out? Then you can build learning objectives because you want to create a course that ultimately gives them a solution to something, something that's in demand, something that would make a big impact. So make sure whether that's one, whether that's three, whether that's five, make sure you're writing down your um, learning objectives so that when they go in to read what it is that they're learning, they're reading the learning objectives, they see, oh, I'm going to be learning this at the end of this course. And that's what you want them to see. You want them to see uh, exactly what you're going to give them. And one other thing is if you can do that, if you can create great learning objectives, that's where you need to promote it. You need to, or that's what you need to promote. You need to talk about those uh, learning objectives. You need to talk about the benefits of these, um, which is, you know, the solution, the end result, the goal that they're trying to achieve or reach. So make sure that you're promoting those learning objectives and giving it, you know, as much value as you possibly can. Another one is using a variety of teaching methods. It's important to understand that people learn differently. So if you only have one way of doing things, you need to incorporate a lot more because any, everybody that is searching for something, they're searching either for in-person, they're searching for some type of workshop where it shows them in detail how to do something. They're looking for um, something that everybody is going to be looking for something different. So if you have a variety of teaching methods, you're able to interest multiple people in your field so that you can gain, uh, you know, more interest in your course. So whether that's audio uh, recordings, whether that's video recordings, whether that's written material in a workshop, whatever it is, make sure you have multiple ones, uh, make sure you have different ones that they can choose from. Um, and you don't have to put every single one in one course, not what I'm saying, but if you give them a couple of options, one, it's valuable, two, it helps you stand out in the crowd. So, okay. A third one would be to give real world examples. People love to know uh, what other people have done, what other people have experienced, including mistakes, um, how they got out of those mistakes, how they built from those mistakes, how they built off of failure um, and how they've succeeded. So people love to learn about other people's business pretty much. So if you're able to provide them with real world experiences and real world, um, even um, testimonials are always good, but anytime that you can give real world examples and illustrate your points to you know their, your audience, it can become clearer to them. It can help them stay engaged and it helps them stay motivated throughout the course. It really does. And finally, make sure you have a call to action. Make sure you encourage a call to action, other known, also known as CTA. So that is where you're telling or encouraging them, hey, check this out. Hey, grab this free thing. Hey, watch this video. You're telling them you're pushing them to do something pretty much. 
You're providing them with tools and tips and resources that ultimately they can implement in their own personal or professional life today, and you're encouraging them to take action. Very important, because if I don't see anything, you know what, take YouTube for example. Everybody puts subscribe or you know like or whatever on their screen, but that's, be that's because that is a call to action and that's because they're saying, um, you know, they're trying to encourage you to go ahead and like, go ahead and subscribe. But people forget as they're watching videos or as they're doing something and they forget to take action. So it's important or not even if they forget, if you don't have an option for someone to take action and you're not encouraging them to, why would they? If they can't, you know, you want to encourage them to do so by providing value and the tools and the resources to, you know, ultimately help them in some sort of way, but just make sure that you're putting that CTA on there. Make sure that you have that, whether it's on a landing page, whether it's in YouTube, whether it's in whatever, make sure that you have something like that um, because it, it helps you and it helps, it will helps them because they're getting what they wanted. All right, so I hope that helped. I hope that was valuable. I hope you can implement it in your own course today or whatever it is that you're creating um, in that online digital world. If so, hit the like button or subscribe, whatever. Um, yeah, and I, if you have any questions, put them in the comments and I can't wait to see you on the next video.